24 hours after eight people are discovered dead inside of an Edith home, and the community is just trying to put the pieces together here while also mourning the people that they love. That's right. Our team focusing on their stories and the heart-wrenching impacts felt across the state. Let's get right to Alex Cabrera, who is live in Enoch tonight. Alex? Yeah, Debbie, this family, they meant a lot to this community. They were loved, they were respected, and they were certainly involved. We've noticed a lot of people here in the past few hours, even in the snow and rain, coming out here to leave behind flowers and teddy bears and lights at this growing memorial, which is Kitty Corner, to where the family lived. No one can make sense of what happened, even for those who knew the family well. We probably met them, it's been about 20 years ago. For all the times Tina Brown has spoken to her friend, she wishes she could do it one more time. If I could shed any light at all about Tasha, it's that everybody was, she was everybody's friend. And she made everybody feel like they were her only friend. She last spoke to Tasha Haight this past Friday about how Christmas went and how her kids were doing. There was no way to know what was coming. I decided last night when I went to bed with such a heavy heart and a lot of anger and I just decided I'm not focusing on the darkness anymore. Um, I want to talk about the light. And what a light she was in her Enoch community. If you had a bad day at work or struggles at home, Brown said you can bet you'd be hearing from Tasha along with some of her famous homemade bread. I The countless loaves of bread that were dropped off at doorsteps and visits when somebody else had just had a baby. She wanted everybody around her to be better. Her kids were the same way. They once organized a going away party for someone moving away from their neighborhood. That's just the way they were. That's just the way they were. Which makes what happened here unimaginable. It kind of hit me like a rock when my oldest said, Mom, we see things like this happen on the news. Um, you hear about it on podcasts. You see Dateline episodes but it doesn't happen here. And it definitely doesn't happen to people that we know. But Brown knew the family well. And because she was close friends with Tasha, she knows what to do next at a time when nothing else makes sense. She's gonna be missed, there's no doubt, but I think that we can honor her by living the way she lived. A private memorial was held in one of the churches in this neighborhood this evening. It was a chance for people who knew the family and even those who didn't know the family to come together and just talk. There was sadness, there was anger, but there was certainly plenty of emotion. Tough day out here for all the people out here who knew this family.